Group, Telecom Manager, Media and Entertainment, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and South China. Today we talk about PBS Physical Bed Shader. So we will introduce a PBS from Maya to Stingray. We will create a basic PBS shader in Maya, and and it's also introduce a substance to called B2M to create a PBS texture. And we will adjust the UV uh, texture UV in uh, Stingray for uh, in an effective way. And also uh, we will introduce how to do a transparency uh, mirror uh, mirror uh, in the uh, Stingray with two sides. And also uh, we will know how to uh, we will learn how to do a refresher material refresher material in Stingray. Well, first of all, we uh, show you how points the uh, PBS. Uh, uh, PBS is a physical base shader. It's a shader for real-time render, real engine, and it is a high real world value. It's look very physical accurate in real-time engine, and it is available in Phoenix Max, Maya, and Stingray. And all the PBS created in those applications are interchangeable. And actually, uh, uh, um, FBX the media format that will support PBS shader. And PBS the advantage is no programming and script required. So uh, PBS is a shader. So what is shader? Actually, it's a it's a code thing uh, for both human and machine to read. This is a series of definition for parameter to show the uh, material, and it's connected to the real time engine. So what? is normally used for. This is used on described in a um, metal material and also plastic, wood, fiber, skin or rubber. And uh, it's having physical lights like uh, diffusion and uh, refraction uh, using those uh, uh, attributes like roughness and uh, is uh, also uh, we have effectivities, crosses and and about ambient occlusion. So those uh, can tune in real time. So normally we will apply a mapping on the PBS shader and there's a six uh, important texture we will uh, apply on the PBS in Maya, Max and Stingray. It's named as it's color map, normal map, metallic map, roughness, emission. Emission is about uh, to grow and also ambient occlusion mapping. So let us start to create a PBS in Maya. So uh, in the following, we will PP, prepare a basic model and PBS shader for in Maya for Stingray. We will apply a color texture in PBS and adjust the UV mapping. And uh, also we will connect the Stingray and Maya together and send the model and texture uh, over there, and uh, now if you need uh, more detail, we will, you need to create those uh, other mapping like normal map or, or AO map in Maya. There's a tool called Transfer Map in Maya to help you to create those those textures. So uh, in Maya, and uh, we have a basic model in here, just a cube that we extrude a little bit on the side. So let's uh, start up with a uh, hyper shader. So in the left side, they will type in PBS and we will sort out the PBS shading. Just click on it, you've got a simple PBS texture. In the right side, the edge of view, we will show all the detail. You can find to light the base color, metallic or roughness to define its uh, materials. So, um, after tuning a little bit, then you can just drag drop your shader into Wheelport Maya and it will apply your sh uh, shader. So there's a plain PBH uh, shader without texture. It's simply and open the Stingray on the side and then find the uh, menu of the this is the link find a Stingray menu over there. Then we just connect the sting, uh, Stingray with Maya and then turn on the uh, live camera, 
select the object in the uh, object mode then we can find the cameras linked together and we can send selected model to Stingray so in the Stingray we will find out the both the model and material was sanded so it's a very simple workflow and now we find uh, maybe need some texture to create in Maya so we'll take a look on the high back graph have a, sh have a shader and uh, in the right side in the edge view we'll check on uh, color color mapping and in the folder we will search for a uh, simple wood texture and apply on it and don't forget to check on the texture enable so we'll find uh, the viewport the texture is over there but you find a little bit problem about the uh, model the we had to fix the uh, texture coordination so we change into the uh, human mapping tools and in, in some service area you got a problem so we uh, maybe uh, take a look on what was it so we'll find some human mapping, mapping is overlapped and in Maya we have uh, many tools help us to quick fix those problems First of all, we select the surface and then place on the auto sim and then go to click on the unfold button and we will find all the surface if the UV is uh, laid out correctly without overlap. Then we press the layout to maximize the texture coordination on the mapping and then we switch back to the Report. Now you find texture is uh, corrected and, and look uh, uh, without with a line problem. So in the uh, stain ray, we maybe just simply delete the, all the model and texture before, and then in the Maya to send the model and texture again. Just simply select the model and then click on the sand selector in the DCC link now we got all the necessary material, model and a simple color texture into Stingray well, you we find um, the texture is fine but there's no uh, roughness or uh, bump uh, normal map for there so we maybe to uh, add more detail for the texture and the shader so in the tools you find this uh, transfer mapping and you, this is a, a traditional method that will help you to create like normal map, this map, the fills or some extra texture for you um, but this is uh, maybe a very uh, time consuming job that we may introduce another tools to help you to create those uh, important textures for PBS. So now we show you our effective way to create PBS texture for Maya and Stingray. Also, it can be applied of different PBS texture too. So uh, there's a uh, tools called Substance and Time to S. It's uh, mainly designed for PBS texture. It's a very powerful tool. It can easily create all the necessary texture for PBS uh, shader for Maya and Stingray and in below you will see some different texture was generated and the right bottom side is the preview of the texture and shader so this is the uh, GUI of the tools of M2S we just simply jet and drop the previous uh, wood texture into the window and you will find this look like it's almost done and you may here to fine tune some uh, details in the up side you will see all the texture you will need it it will be already generated for you and in the right side you got all the attributes so first I will turn up about the upper side of the uh, texture with 1k 
and then we may be linked to our tile mode then select some option for tiling we can also add some attribute to control the tile method for the transition alright then go to a diffuse mode you can change the color texture of the the affected original texture here uh, like this one I want to change the saturation and also the roughness actually is adjusting the uh, normal mapping the roughness texture and uh, as it's get more rough for the impression and then the metallic and I want to have more fraction damage you can adjust over here And also the ambient occlusion or different architecture you can adjust in here. You will see when you apply on the uh, attribute, you will see the ambient occlusion value is changing in the texture. In the effect. And finally, you can have some preview of different texture. And now uh, maybe I just want to export the texture I wanted. There's a lot of output format but I just need a 4 or 5 like a uh, yeah, I need it and select the checkbox to enable the output format right then export so let's go back to Maya and then uh, first of all, the texture is not applied yet. And we go back to the hammer shader and then select our previous material. And we can um, apply all the mapping that we generate from the uh, substance MPS. Like color map, and then we select the normal mapping. One by one, metallic, roughness, and also ambient occlusion. Uh, we don't need um, uh, the emission in this model, so we just didn't uh, create it. Now don't forget to enable all the checkbox for the texture then you can view your preview in the upper right side and you got a detailed texture line so it's now time to send it to the stingray but simply select the model using the same tools uh, this is the link, connect it, and then send the letter. So that's the way that you know, that's a few minutes demo. You can create all the necessary texture with the wood, with the included um, camping occlusion, uh, roughness, uh, normal map, everything you needed to stay with. Check on the uh, shader, we got all the same hierarchy structure of the shader for my system with. Alright, now it's time to talk about the two side shader. So normally uh, we have a uh, surface that uh, will have surface normal, but one side will be visible, the another one and the side will be transparency. But sometimes we create some glasses, uh, we can long, uh, simply uh, copy the model into two and then make it rotate to 180 degrees to uh, for both sides mirroring. But uh, uh, this may be uh, double the loading the model in, of the scene. 
So uh, in the same way, we have uh, two score a uh, uh, two side. Then we can uh, use this method to uh, make it two two sides for reflect the uh, scene. Okay, in Maya, we have a uh, uh, room models simply and uh, with the table inside. You find that the glass is actually is a single side model for some reflection, but in the inside it seems not affected. So we have sent this model. This is the same to this is link. Sense or. The audio model and material was centered. So we'll give a check a look. Take a look on the mirror. Seems some kind of reflection on one side, but then other side is nothing. All right. Okay, and uh, in below we now we want to go to the shader of the uh, glass beneath go to the material and select the glass PDS and then in the right side in the puppet editor to make the shader into need and then this become an open shader graph and we click on the open shader graph to build on the uh, detail of the shader so we use the standard face then in the right side if there will be a, a face colon is back we will uh, turn it into double side and then save it then we will find that the reflection is come back for both sides for the shader so it's a very simple edit to have a single polygon, have a two side refraction. And now we can turn the tune the roughness or metallic to get a better result. Okay. The UV scale. So uh, in the uh, PBS shader, uh, we got a lot of um, uh, texture, like uh, six type of texture, like color, normal, metallic roughness, emission, AO map. But uh, we, if you want to uh, change the UV mapping uh, texture coordination in Maya, we will be, maybe adjust all of them one by one. But in Stingray, we got a UV scale that you can adjust the UV coordination, all the texture in a single control so in the stingray in the floor maybe a little bit on the scale you want to change a little bit to a small size so go to the uh, PBS shader for the floor and in the property editor in the bottom one you just simply type in the increase the value a little bit then all the like in here we got a color map and normal map will be adjust automatically with one control so this is very good for you to uh, adjust in the same way so also uh, you can have a screen space reflection to get a better result but this uh, texture may be not have much reflection so you will be not notice about that and don't forget to save your Sure, right? Okay. Reflection. So uh, how can we uh, do it? Uh, we can simply do transparency, but uh, how can we create a reflection uh, material in real time in Sing, right? Uh, we need a note uh, for reflection. So uh, actually, in the uh, Stingray library, there's an online content. You can download all the necessary material and example for for your reference. Inside there, there's a, a 
museum. There's a file name for museum. There's uh, some uh, model inside, and also you can check on the open independently graph and open trainer graph, and then you will find a note called the perfection power. And this is very good for you to uh, you can copy the note, select the note, and copy it and paste to a uh, uh, text editor or notepad then you will have find out there's a coding on the right side showing you about that and just simply copy and paste to the open shader graph then you will get the note in your projects so after you copy the uh, note and then just link to the refraction uh, attributes so here I want to show you how we can do it so we use type in the buyer to create a simple text and then send it to the stingray. And you'll find there's no there's a transparency model but there's no refraction. You can turn move around the camera and see this or the, just like a transparency object only. So we go to the material and uh, select the correct one and then open sh shader graph to check on the detail of the shader and we're going to find the refraction attributes just uh, copy the notes select all and ctrl c and ctrl v inside it they will be create note for you just simply connect note to the reflection so save it and it's done and don't forget to tune the reflection index so it's updating right now and then on the bottom of the attribute property editor you will type uh, for glasses 1.3 all right then we'll find it's not a simple transparency anymore it got a reflection uh, like refraction uh, on the back uh, through the through the model. So it's very simple to do that. It's a real time uh, refraction. Okay. So for the better result, uh, you can have some like uh, you can have another example like a diamond. I just. Uh, Put the uh, reflection index into four, and you will find some uh, amazing reflection. And also, the polygon shape is very important to how the result it can be. All right, uh, today we introduce the BBS shader for you for my to Stingray, and then we show you how to create a BBS um, shader. Then we use a tool called Substance BM and it is a tech effective way to create PBS textures. We also show you how to use the UV tools to adjust all the PBS texture in a single control. And we show you the uh, PBS how to create a gas in uh, both sides, uh, two side refraction. And also look in the library, you can uh, get it from download from the online. Uh, uh, template uh, a project uh, there will be a refresher note you just copy and paste and then apply on the on the project to do the reflection refraction and what's next uh, we will go to talk about uh, uh, stingray flow and also in fitness max it will come with a fitness max interactive this is uh, similar is a uh, tools for do the interactive slide stingray and we will call. We will show you about uh, how to use Flow to create some uh, logics for the interactive. Thank you. Goodbye, and see you next time.